Yeah, do you see the Kotaku drama? Publisher demands them pivot away from political stuff to do more game guides. Editor-in-chief. Yeah, what is this here? Uh, Kotaku editor-in-chief Jen Glennon has exited her role. Yeah, so she tweeted out she's a Kotaku person. I'm actually surprised that she's the editor-in-chief Kotaku. I'm not blocked. Um, some personal news. I've resigned from Kotaku and Jim Spanfeller is an herb. But either way, so she she's left her role and she's no longer part of Kotaku. The parent company mandated the game's publication focus on game guides and pri deprioritize news. Holy shit. Wow. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I, I think Kotaku's damaged their rep a lot by like basically platforming people that have extremely unpopular opinions and then farming out ad clicks because of that. Context. There are a lot of previous examples, but the most recent one is about the fluff piece Kotaku released on the Sweet Baby Inc. Steam Group, where the writer claimed to have infiltrated their public discord, ignored the harassment campaign brought forward by Sweet Baby Inc. employees, and then added fuel to the fire, making random racist remarks for no reason. Now let's see what she has to say. The fact that leadership wanted to aggressively pivot what Kotaku does in the midst of a harassment campaign levied against me and the site for an original piece of reporting that was the second most read story for over a week is telling. Mama. Kotaku has damaged their reputation tremendously by allowing people to editorialize and add in their own narrative about these games, their own like politics and everything like that. This has been a big problem for a long time. It's totally damaged their rep. And so, yeah, I'm going to be honest, guys. I, I, I think that they're right. I hate women, hate trans people, hate other races, super racist, love to harass people. I hate gay people. Yes, yes. I forgot about gay people. Yes. Uh, Nazi, naturally. Obviously, I'm kidding. Kotaku is probably, like, the most embarrassing gaming news outlet there is. Its name has become synonymous with cringe and also just horrible journalism entirely in the industry. Their reputation is so horrible that their name gets used as an insult.